Anybody ever heard of being too out of shape to fish? He's gonna, he's tired me out way before I can tire him out. Uh. All right, so I am out here just offshore, about 70 to 80 feet of water, just kind of drifting off my spots. Looks like a good reef area. So we're gonna see what we can catch today. Well, we got a fish on already. First drop of the day. Graph is lighting up like a Christmas tree. Let's see what we got. We're only in 77 feet of water. Looks like a Looks like a, yeah, nice big porgy. That's a little something or other. Yeah, yeah, I don't, we don't keep those guys. Thanks for my bait back though. You can go right back. There's a nice yellow tail. Ah, Ramora. Thank you. And I got to keep my bait even better. get this up before the sharks get it. There's a porgy. Yep. That's not what I want to eat today. So he can go back. If he'd stop throwing poop all over me. There. See ya. Might be my new personal best, guys. Oh, it's a big old barracuda. Big old barracuda. <laughs> nice. Well, that's not what we were looking for. That was a big fish. And if I actually caught it, I don't know what I was going to do with it once it was in the boat. <laughs> well, this wire leader is just about trash. It's got a little kink in it. I'm going to throw it again anyway. I'm, I'm sure I'll get broke off, but that's okay. I got plenty of those. Now, if I didn't have that wire leader on there, that would have cut right off. We got a big fish. Probably a shark. Probably a shark. All right. He can just hang out for a minute. <coughs> he can hang out. I gotta get my belt on. It's big.
Ooh, ah, there he goes. Stripping, stripping. We're gonna be playing with this guy for a while. Well, I wish I had the camera on the other side here, but I don't. Okay, we've been fighting for about three minutes. It is 10.37. See how long it takes me to get this guy up. Woo! <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't like seeing me. I just saw a flash. I just lost all the progress that I made on him. Whew. Now we got we can fight for a little bit. This is the uh, Shimano Speedmaster 252 on a Crowder E series rod. I am too weak for this. We may lose camera because I might have to run around the other side of the boat. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. He's running again. This is gonna be a while. Ouch, that was a bad idea. He's gonna strip all my line out. All right. We gotta go, we gotta go to him a little bit. <laughs> Arms are burning.
I'm only taking a break because my arms are already on fire. <laughs> Uh, he's taking off again. All I can do is really just hold on. Anybody ever heard of being too out of shape to fish? Okay. Whew. He's gonna, he's tired me out way before I can tire him out. Oh yeah, it's a shark. It's a shark. It's a shark. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right. He's gonna go behind the motor and cut me off, I bet you. Get him off the hook. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Holy crap, my arms are burning. We got another problem though. How do we get this nice feller off the hook? Oh, don't go that way. Come on this way. Come on this way, bud. Come on this way. Come on this way. Come on this way. Oh, that's so freaking cool. Uh, yeah. The problem, the problem's gonna be, uh, let's give him some slack here. I gotta get some slack. I'm gonna have to get some gloves on. Jeez, well, he just took care of it for me. Yeah. Main line didn't break, my knot was good. Literally pulled the whole steel leader out. So, here's the question for you guys. <laughs> when you hook the shark and you're solo, how do you de-hook it? Give me some advice here. I would greatly appreciate it because I am a newbie. Now what I have, I have this little de-hooker tool right here. Hopefully get down in there. Um, but this is kind of a long reach to get that shark, you know, because I can't bring him out of the water, obviously. So give me some advice. Give me some criticism. I'll take it because that's how I'm going to learn. So I am going to take a breather. I'm going to restring. So I've got one, two, three, four broken off lines. So I'm going to go ahead and get those all rigged back up and try to get some more fishing in. 
but I'm actually almost about done for the day. Anyway, I gotta head in, get the boat all cleaned up, and take care of some things at home. So drop me those comments, hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you on the next one. I've certainly got a lot more to learn out here and gotta get after it. I was so excited. I got the camera in its case. I got it underwater and uh, I, I didn't hit record. So the underwater shots would have been fantastic. I just didn't get it. It looked like a black tip. I'm not sure. I don't know shark species for anything, but maybe I'll get a video of the next one.